A painting potentially worth $25,000 stolen from a campus building. We'll talk to the captain of University Police. And a business that has occupied OSU since 1978 is closing its doors. You'll hear from one of the owners. Thank you for joining us for this week's webcast. I'm Matt Edwards. Police aren't sure what the motive was behind a painting stolen from an OSU building earlier in the week. What they do know is that the value of the art might be in the tens of thousands. For more, we take you to Sarah Steeman. Just one week ago, this now empty frame at McQuig Laboratory held an oil portrait of Charles E. McQuig, former dean of the College of Engineering. But on Sunday, between the hours of 2 a.m. and 2.30 p.m., someone stole the canvas painting. The painting was actually in a public hallway. It had been uh, behind glass in a case in the hallway. The case had been opened and then the painting um, was apparently forcefully removed. The portrait was originally estimated to cost $3,000. After being evaluated by a representative at OSU Wexner Center, it's now believed to cost between $15,000 and $25,000. Being that this is a speculative estimate, the university has hired an outside firm to complete a formal appraisal. OSU Police Department has launched an ongoing investigation regarding this case. If anybody has knowledge of the painting and you have a photograph of the painting, uh, if they have knowledge of the whereabouts of the painting, they should contact the Ohio State University Police Division. Our phone number is 614-292-2121. A lab manager for McQuig Laboratory said it is possible the building was left unlocked Saturday evening as there are 14 entrances. Reporting for The Lantern, I'm Sarah Steeman. Thank you, Sarah. 1978, it was Woody Hayes last year as Ohio State's head football coach. 51 Ohioans lost their lives in a tragic blizzard in North Campus News, now known as North Campus Video, open for business on North High Street. Sadly, this year it closes its doors. With more, here's Katie Harriman. I'm standing here inside North Campus Video, where employees and customers are preparing to say goodbye to this 34-year-old video store. Located just a couple miles from Ohio State's campus, it is one of the oldest businesses remaining on High Street. Co-owner David Hoke told The Lantern the store could no longer survive in the digital age. Uh, we just don't have the business uh, like we used to anymore. It's a lot of internet and downloading. People do all that video streaming and all that stuff now. I think it's probably one of the first video stores in Columbus. And it's just sad that it has to end this way. And it's just all the technology nowadays. And that's just a new way of life nowadays. So. Along with the popularity of Redbox kiosk rentals, construction outside the store in 2008 and 2009 is partly to blame for closing the landmark campus location. Would be looking for a certain movie, maybe the night before you saw a movie, just caught a little glimpse of it. You could describe that, that scene to one of the customer service reps in the video store and they could tell you the name of that show and tell you if they had it on file or not. The store is expected to close at the end of March and will remain open until all the DVDs are sold, which are currently priced at $4.99 and will continue to drop in cost. For more on this story, go to thelantern.com. Reporting for The Lantern, I'm Katie Harriman. Thank you, Katie. Senior Sean Sangri has been quite a dominant force for OSU's men's volleyball team this young season, but it's a redshirt freshman who's complimenting him very well. With more, here's Justine Boggs in sports. The Ohio State men's volleyball team, now 9-4 this season, opened their conference play defeating Indiana, Purdue, Fort Wayne University faster than I can say it in three games. Against the Macedon, senior Sean Sangri tallied yet another match best with 23 kills, 9 digs, and 3 assists. The key to getting a kill from the All-American doesn't depend only on the hit but also on the set. I'm here right now with Peter Hyen, who is a redshirt freshman. Peter, talk to me a little bit about what your experience has been like so far this season, making your mark as a Buckeye. Uh, well, this is my first year playing for the Buckeyes, so just uh, getting used to the offense and uh, getting used to playing again after taking a year off. Coming in as my first year, it's definitely nice to have a player like Sean Sangri, like an All-American. All I have to do is make sure I get the ball in some place where he can hit it. It doesn't have to be perfect every time. Just up, get it, get it high for him, and he can make a kill. What kind of chemistry do you have, and how important is that to the play that you guys have going on? Um, I feel like as the season keeps getting on, our chemistry gets better and better. Uh, just we keep practicing every day on the court on the same team, and just 
getting more and more reps and keep practicing and we'll keep getting better. Sean, talk to me a little bit about Peter Heinen and how he's really come out this season as a first year Buckeye. Uh, he's made a lot of strides in the last year. Um, redshirting his fresh or his first year helped a lot. Uh, this year we're just every every day we're connecting more and more. How important is that chemistry that you build up with each other? I think it's very important with especially his, his position as a setter. Um, he's controlling the whole court and every play. He touches the ball, so it's good to have good chemistry with him. The Buckeyes will take on Ball State Friday and Carthage on Saturday. Make sure to check Lantern Sports on Twitter for all of your instant updates. With the Lantern Sports, I'm Justine Boggs. Thank you, Justine. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for all of your Ohio State news, and we'd love to hear your feedback and story ideas from around campus. For all of us here at The Lantern, I'm Matt Edwards. Thank you for joining us.